Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today, Zara and I are going shopping, so I thought I would bring you with me for a little shop with me and haul vlog. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. Zara, should we go shopping? Yeah. Yay! Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Now don't laugh, but one of the things I'm looking for today is I want a Frozen t-shirt. For me, because we're going to see Frozen 2. The girls have got full dressing up costumes from the Disney shop and Elsa and Anna. And now I don't want to go in full pants dress. I don't mind a little Frozen t-shirt, you know? Do you think I could pull that off? One, two, three. Rather a lot of rather lovely Christmassy things. We weren't here shopping for Christmassy things today, were we, Zaza? No, we were gonna, but maybe we should have a look for some Christmassy things too. I'm just admit, I'm a little bit sad because Zara normally likes to face me, and today you didn't want to face my did you? You wanted to face forward because she's so grown up now. She says she's not a baby anymore. Well, I found Olaf's slippers, but that's not quite what I was looking for. I need a t-shirt with Elsa on it, or something else from Frozen. I mean, there aren't any Frozen t-shirts for Mummy. Poor Mummy, what's Mummy gonna wear? Oh dear. I mean, we're wandering into pyjamas now. I'm not sure I want to go to the cinema in pyjamas. I'm sure they have probably got some Frozen pyjamas. I'm at a loss, guys. Where can I look for a frozen t-shirt? Please do let me know in the comments. So the closest I've found is Olaf pyjamas. I can't. I can't write in pyjamas, can I? Probably not. Probably not. That would definitely embarrass my children. What have you seen, baby? Elmo. You've seen Elmo. We do like Elmo, don't we? My next best option is to see if I can squeeze into something from the children's section. Um, or we'll find a different job. Going totally off topic because I do not need slippers in any way, but I like those probably more than I should. <laughs> no, you want to go to the pony shop. Zara wants to go to the shop that sells pony shaped biscuits. Mummy has said if you're going to be a good girl, Mummy will go and buy you a pony shaped biscuit, won't she? Yeah? Well, we'll go, we'll see if we're a good girl in the shop. Don't forget hand to mouth when we cough. Good girl in the shop, and then we'll go and get a pony shaped biscuit. Okay? We are in the children's section. I'm checking out the jumpers. Let's see what we've got. We've got Wake Me When It's Christmas. Oh, maybe I'm quite liking that for Bella. That's quite sweet. Okay, darling, we will go to the pony shop once we've been a good girl here. This is quite nice too. Look. This one, or what is the pink one? <gasps> I think I found it. I think I found the Christmas jumper for my girls. Okay, we need these in the right sizes. We need these, we need the pink one. Slight disaster, I've just realized we're in the seven to 15 section, which means that this starts at age seven and Bella's not yet five. And Zara's very small too. So we're gonna have to go and find some equally cool Christmas jumpers in the smaller girl section. Okay, does this count as a Christmas jumper? I mean, Elsa makes snow, snow is Christmas. These could be Christmas jumpers, right? Super cute. Have a look, have a look. What do you think of this kind of Christmas jumper with Elsa on it? Is that a Christmas jumper? Do you like the Elsa Christmas jumper kind? That is not, it says Elsa on it, but you think that's on it? Okay. Look at that. I mean, that is so gorgeous. Now, I've had sort of jumper dresses for girls before, and these are gorgeous. See, this is why you need to be facing mummy and not facing the other way so you can see what I'm doing. It's much better to face mummy, don't you think? What do you think of these dresses? What do you think, baby? Wow. Wow, are they so beautiful? You do need Christmas dresses for. Christmas jumper day and I don't know if you've seen my Instagram from previous years I do like to dress them in Christmas stuff as much of December as possible 
that dress. Oh, it's down here. Panic over. Panic over. Okay, so we need, what, a two to three for you or a three to four? What do you think? I think two to three. You're quite dirty. I forget, but dirty is probably a Welsh term. So anyone not from Wales. Have you ever heard that term before? It means small. Just occurred to me. Not all of you grew up in Wales. And you probably don't know what I'm all about. And oh my goodness, look at these. I mean, Bella does have a school skirt like mine. You've probably noticed. Um, school are not terribly strict on uniform. She was like smart. Um, just a bit more jazzy than, um, than you'd expect. And also, kind of loving this. I think the girls would love that. This is from their um, premium range, which means, I guess, that the prices are a little higher. It's still £12. That is £12. I would say that's a bargain though. I'm gonna look at the detail again to that. Three to four is gonna drown you, isn't it? That would be huge for Zara, wouldn't it? Oh, I can't get them unless they're matching. No way. Frozen throw blanket. So cute. And <gasps> look at these frozen cushions. Love it. I mean, we're no closer to finding me frozen t-shirt which is what I actually wanted but there is a lot of cool stuff oh look is that the one <gasps> look at that look that's an open up one <gasps> I want it look frozen duvet cover set at a bargain price of £14 it's not bad is it now good top tip for Christmas Father Christmas is looking to bulk out your children's piles Father Christmas could think about putting a duvet cover with like a cool character on it on an actual duvet and wrapping that to make a huge present. You could even send Father Christmas a duvet you already have. Or buy one of these, which let's face it are not much money. How much is a duvet? 15 pounds. But certainly if they need anyone anyway. Nice bulky bulky present to bulk out the pile. I kind of love that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness, unicorns. Now the girls are going dressed up, as I said, to see Frozen 2. Do I get William one of these to wear? Or this that goes, this says cool and then dude. Um, I have got one. I'm going to go six to seven. Okay, Danny, mommy, get your six. Oh, they have got a seven to eight. A cool dude t-shirt. I mean, I'm not sure if he's going to be terribly impressed with that. Well, they have got a nice Olaf jumper. It's not something he's going to wear other than to the film. I'm not sure if he's going to think it's a bit embarrassing. That's quite understated that he could wear it as pyjamas afterwards. Mm -hmm. We'll throw it in the maybe. Or am I better off getting this, which doubles up as a Christmas jumper? I mean towards that. <sighs> Although, William would probably prefer... I quite like dinosaurs. William's going to prefer the Spider-Man jumper. Or this, which I'm not a fan of at all, but he'd love Minecraft Christmas jumper. But, he would think I was the best mum in the world ever. Which is marginally less hideous, Spider-Man or Minecraft? Boy, it's just, just not pretty, is it? And will he hate me for getting him Olaf? It is christmas -y. Okay, so they don't have Minecraft in William's size. That takes that one out of the equation. We've got Spider-Man, which would make me super popular. Or we've got dinosaurs, which I think he'd like. He just wouldn't like as much as Spider-Man. Darling, I promise I will take you to buy a pony biscuit after this, okay? I reckon I'm gonna go for the Spider-Man, then maybe he'll forgive me, Olaf. I'm dithering now. I don't know whether these are A, Christmassy enough to qualify as Christmas jumpers, and B, what on earth I'm going to put underneath them? Because um, the girls don't have appropriate plain-ish, light-ish T-shirts. Let me take your drink now. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna undo the right thing. Am I doing the right thing with the Elsa jumpers? Not sure. So now I just need to find the ladies Christmas jumper section. There must be one, because they've got all the children's Christmas jumpers out. And I'm hoping that is where I'm gonna find 
my Elsa something. <gasps> okay, just got them. Okay, answer me honestly. Can I pull off one of these? So yes, but I'm not sure. Not exactly what I had in mind, but this is the closest thing I can find in the adult women's section to anything frozen. It is nice and it is faster, but I kind of pictured a t-shirt without sauna. Sorry. answer me honestly. What do you think? It's a hairband, what do you think? Do you want to try it on? I mean, you look amazing, so. Do you think you can pull that off? I think you totally can. Or, answer me honestly, is this better? Which one's better, the present or the one like you're a present? I think I'm leaning towards this one. You like the present one. I don't know. I mean, that's good too. Oh, I don't know. I think I prefer this one. Oh, your hairband's lost now. Ah! We have paid. I shall show you what I bought when we get home. I have stripped off my coat because I'm officially melting and about to pass out in this boiling hot place. And Zara has said nothing but pony biscuit, pony biscuit. How are you not boiling, darling? You've even got your hood up. Should we go and get your pony biscuit now? You have been a very good girl. I think she does deserve the pony biscuit. Okay, sweetheart. Is that the pony biscuit that you wanted? Yeah. You've been such a good girl. Shall mummy go and pay for it? Okay, leave the bottom bit in the packet and eat out the top, okay? Okay, eat the unicorn bit first. Ah. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh. <laughs> Can you do it? Good girl. A swinging Christmas just like one tree. Now, I don't actually need anything in here exactly, other than, you know, the stuff you always need, like motion stationery. But what I do need is to start thinking of stocking filler ideas that Father Christmas may want to bring, or even stocking filler ideas to buy to post for Father Christmas to bring. And although Father Christmas isn't really struggling with ideas for my girls, because, you know, let's face it, he can just bring them anything from frozen, um, things for the boys can be more tricky. However, something like this could be quite good as well. You know, something like the science kit. Quite nice ideas. May drop Father Christmas a little uh, email giving some suggestions. Now, as you know, if you saw our vlog where we went to see Father Christmas, which I shall link up in the card now, then my children have already been to see him. Take your children to see him as early as possible so that they can get in their orders. But Father Christmas does like to bring them a few little treats and bits as well as surprises. Also, um, we buy them presents that go under the tree and they buy presents to each other that go under the tree. So there's quite a lot to think of. Plus, I have birthdays. I have uh, Bella at the end of December, William at the end of January, and Zara on the 2nd of February. It's a busy time. More ideas. This is the world for Father Christmas, baby. Cats and Pants David Walliams books. Lots of good ideas to be sending across. No way. William is obsessed with Monopoly and also obsessed with Star Wars. So, more brilliant ideas to ask Father Christmas for and also a whole host of Star Wars books. I think I'm just going to send Father Christmas an email saying, shop in the works, because here are a whole list of ideas of things my children would like. Ooh. These look good. Happy coming books. And stickers. <gasps> That's cool. We know the time is short. I don't need a lot in boots, but I do need dayness and nightness for me because I'm sick of having a stinky cold. And now that I'm no longer pregnant and I'm no longer breastfeeding, I can take that stuff. What a treat. Right, Zaza, just one more shot, then we'll go home, okay? Good girl, you have icing all over your nose. <laughs> Are you enjoying that biscuit? <laughs> Look, Zaza, this is the dress you've got to wear to Frozen 2. And Bella's got this one. Should we go in and have a look? Come on, then. What have you got, baby? The blue dress. You have, haven't you, baby? That's the dolly you've got. You want that Wonder Dolly? This Wonder Dolly here? Well, maybe you can have one for your birthday or maybe maybe mummy and daddy can buy you one for Christmas because you've already asked Father Christmas what you want, didn't you? And what did you ask Father Christmas for? 
Bardi. Wow, how gorgeous is this? Oh, look, Zara. It's Forky. That's what you've asked Father Christmas to bring you, isn't it, baby? It's so exciting. And Bella did ask for Bo Peep. Hopefully, hopefully you will be really good girls and Father Christmas will bring them. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that, Zaza? Moana. Oh, you love the money, baby. Want to talk life girl? I want a Christmas tree decorated exclusively with these beautiful Disney princesses. Why don't I have a Christmas tree decorated exclusively with those? The 13 sandwich. It's a really, really awful awesome, though. I've seen a lot of this Descendants stuff about, but we haven't actually seen the Descendants. Is it any good? And would my children like it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I've just seen this, and apparently they're sold out online. 80 pounds. Maybe more like birthday than Christmas, but look how gorgeous that is. It's folded away. It's like the world's most massive frozen poly pocket ornament. Do what to do. Have to have a think. Have a think. Anyway, Zara, should we head home now? Should we go home? You've been such a good girl. You know what? Your icing fell off. Oh well, don't worry. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Should we go home? Mm. Well, Zara and I are back home now. Put you guys down there. Should we show everyone what we've bought? You can come and sit next to mummy. Okay, comfy. Okay, so we've got rather a lot of stuff to show everyone, haven't we, Zara? Shall we start with these? Yeah. Now, these are the Elsa jumpers. Now, I was thinking these might do... Can they make them sparkly? They are so sparkly, aren't they? I don't think they're the kind that change. Now, these Christmas... These, I thought... Let me know in the comments if you think these will pass as Christmas jumpers. This is Bella's. So that's age five to six. And Zara. Hang on, where's yours? Here it is. Do you want to try that on over your dress? I'm going to take your hairband off to you. Will this pass for a Christmas jumper? Yeah. You think? It's quite gorgeous, isn't it? Now this one is age three to four, because it's the smallest size they had. But Zara's quite tiny. You're quite dirty, aren't you? Right, what do we think of that? What's the verdict? I never I just want to show everyone the jumper. You can sit on the seat then. What do you think of the jumper? Good. So, those are the Elsa jumpers, and we've got one for <laughs> Bella as well. Oh, bunnies in it. We didn't buy bunnies, did we? Right, so we'll see uh, We'll see if we're going to keep those. We're going to see, we'll decide what, in fact, let me know in the comments what we should keep and what we should return. What do you think the, jump, the Elsa jumpers? Keep them or send them back? Keep them. Keep them, okay. Next we have for William an Olaf. an Olaf Christmas jumper. What do we think of that? The question is, do you think William will like it? Yeah. I really wanted him to have something to wear to see Frozen on the weekend. But I didn't want him to think, you know, because he's seven now and he's starting to get a bit like, oh, that's embarrassing, that's no, embarrassing. And that one's for you. That one's not mine, that one's for Bella. Mm -hmm. um, so underneath that, if William would prefer, and I may have to return the ones he doesn't like, I would imagine he can wear that, you know, he can wear that as pajamas or something afterwards, but maybe he could just wear that to see Frozen if he doesn't want the Olaf one. And we'll take the other one back. Olaf is on that, isn't he? Yes. There we go, so that's what we've got. So the girls aren't actually gonna wear these to see the film because they have got, what have you got? You've got the dresses, haven't you? You've got the dressing up dresses with Elsa and Anna. But these, I thought, maybe for Christmas jumper day for school. This could be for William's Christmas jumper day for school. They have a few Christmas jumper days because uh, they have Chris normal Christmas jumper day. They have Christmas dinner Christmas jumper day. They wear Christmas jumpers pretty much the whole of the last week. So they do need a few to keep going so I can wash them. I thought I bought William another Christmas jumper. Did I not? Oh, hang on. I did. I did. It's okay. What's this? We also bought this. So even if William is not going to be massively impressed with the Olaf Christmas jumper, he will definitely be impressed with the Spider-Man Christmas jumper. Now, I think if my mind is correct, they're all £10 so far. So Spider-Man was £10, Olaf was £10, the... 
frozen jumpers were 10 pounds the frozen t-shirt the olaf t-shirt was four pound fifty so jumpers 10 pounds t-shirts a little bit cheaper next we have got some unicorn themed things because we are doing a secret santa with some friends and one of the little girls i know um that i have to buy for is obsessed with unicorn stuff thank you johnny so um i think we've got a 10 pound spend limit so i've got a few of these bits and the bits that do not end up going into the secret santa we can go into my present box so we've got a rather lovely pencil case a unicorn themed pencil case which is all glittery and sparkly on the back and you can put your own name on that Mommy. and that was <gasps> that was four pounds fifty hello baby and then to match that we've got this rather beautiful unicorn sparkly notebook which was also four pounds fifty but then i saw this is a fluffy unicorn journal. Hello, Zara. <laughs> this is a fluffy unicorn journal with a matching hair tie. Now, I can't take it out of the box because these are going to be gifts. They're going to be presents, okay? So I'm thinking now that can either just go into my notebook stash because I like notebooks. I use them a lot for work and pretty notebooks inspire me to do better work, honestly. Um, so what I'm probably thinking is the five pounds and the four pounds fifty um adding in these scented unicorn pens which are two pounds will take me slightly over budget but that makes for a really beautiful gift i think for a little girl i think she is three so i think she'll love that so continuing with the notebook theme now this i've seen these in Primark before um, and I have absolutely loved that it's just so beautiful and this was three pounds so this is going to go into the gift present box but to be honest Zara what are you doing with your foot <laughs> to be honest I really want this notebook um, I've also for the gift present box got this one which is another rather beautiful notebook for two pounds fifty <laughs> <gasps> Sarah, can mummy finish doing this please? Can mummy finish doing this? So that one is also rather gorgeous, £2.50. So notebooks, for the, I literally have a stash of notebooks at any given time. So if I've got a new project I need to start, I find a notebook that inspires me. Or if I need, I've got presents and gifts I need to give, then you know i have them for that too right zara we've nearly finished we've nearly finished this do you think we can hold it together for another few minutes do you think we can hold it together should we show the um the frozen t-shirt we managed to find for mummy because on the weekend what film are we going to see in the cinema um frozen fever nope frozen fever is one we've got at home we're going to see frozen 2. now the girls have got their own dressing up costumes. You've got the new Frozen 2 Elsa and Anna dresses to wear, haven't you? Which is very exciting, which we bought in the um, hall, the Disney shop and lots of other shops that we went to. Shop with me in hall, which I shall link up here in the cards. Now, but I have got this. Now this is, I thought maybe gonna double up as a Christmas t-shirt because it's got Olaf on it. And if I don't feel like wearing it in the day, I could wear it to bed so what do we think of this keep it or send it back or take it back you can't send it back can you you think keep it do you think that mummy would look nice in this olaf t-shirt i think mummy has to try it on what do you think should mummy try it on yeah. mummy will try this on in a second okay yeah okay and then for the girls which are kind of christmas jumper kind of christmas dress ish these i just fell in love with and i managed to get zara two to three because as you know she's dirty now this for £12 is a Christmas jumper dress, a hat, and a pair of tights, which have got the very the sort of pretty, you know, toes and feet and things on them. I thought that was an absolute bargain. Zara, would you like to try on this dress? Yeah. Yeah? Come on then. Is this going to fit you? Is this going to fit you? <gasps> oh my goodness, look how gorgeous you look. Oh my goodness, ah, oh. oh look how delicious you look, oh do you love it? I think we are going to have to I'm Father Christmas. You're Father Christmas, that's so funny. Right, hang on, let's take this off, let's take off this, all the stuff that was attached and then you can give us a twirl, can't you? Oh hang on, we can put the hat on. I need to keep my hairband off if I want to put the hat on. You do need to keep your hairband off if you want to put the hat on. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You look so great. What do you think? Do you love it? Yeah. Oh, mummy thinks she looks so beautiful. And that's got tights as well. So obviously I've got another one for Bella too. Bella, I got a five to six. She's quite tall. She is five in December. So I've got five to six. I thought the six to seven might drown her. I thought the five to six would work quite well. Do you think that about, no, I think it's supposed to be short sleeve, darling, because Zara's trying to pull the sleeves all the way down to her wrist. It's supposed to be short sleeves. Should we show everybody what we've got for mummy and everyone can yeah. decide whether mummy's gonna keep hers? Yeah. I've got this one for me. What do we think, guys? I love what do we think? The heart. Do you love the hearts? Yeah. Oh, I think mummy is gonna have to try this on to see what we think. Yeah. So this is the Olaf t-shirt, which I've got over a navy vest top, which obviously is nice to for, but see through. But what do we think? Zara, will this do for mummy to wear to Frozen 2? Yeah. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Shall mummy try on her dress like yours now? like a boy. Oh, thanks. Maybe not then. <laughs> it's not what I was looking for. I did want one with Elsa on it. Yeah. Um, so if you know where I can get my hands on a t-shirt with Let It Go or Elsa that does not cost the earth that I can get my hands on pretty much straight away, please do let me know. But failing that, I think this will do. Okay guys, honest opinions. What do we think of the Santa dress? Obviously probably not with navy leggings. Let's put this down here, shall we? So we can have a look. What do you think, Zaza? Your hat. My hat, I know it has, it's got a hat, hasn't it? It's attached to the back, but once I take the hat off, I have to definitely keep it. What do we think? Do we keep the Santa dresses? Yeah. Do we keep the Santa dresses? I wanna keep them. You wanna keep them? Do you think Mummy and Zara look good in Santa dresses? Yeah. Oh, good. And Bella. And Bella, okay. Bella and want to get back. Definitely, definitely. So what do we think? I'm thinking, I probably feel a bit silly in this, but, you know, at Christmas, maybe we can pull it off. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if at 36, you know, my Santa dress days are gone. Or if I should do it to match my girls <laughs> while I can get away with it. And then in boots, I did go and pick up some day and night nurse, purely because <laughs> I can now take it because I'm no longer breastfeeding or pregnant for the first time in a very long time. So I'm actually able to take this stuff. So next time my, I get a dreadful cold, I do have that option. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a big. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Pen at 7 p.m. Yay! What do you say, Zara? Say. Bye. Bye.